Hello friends, once again this is Sajj Muhammad and I would like to make a video today as you see on your screen for three uh, points. The first point is working basic of psychometric chart and second point is calculating cooling load by using this chart for different location countries for different airflow rate and the finally we can calculate by using this procedure which i am going to explain how we can calculate the cooling capacity for the given airflow rate by using the simple formula which you can see on the screen but uh, before uh, going to for jump to calculate this uh, by using this formula the total capacity of the cooling coil first we must know the uh, basics of uh, uh, psychometric chart let's see uh, let's open the psychometric chart over here I have this psychometric chart over here which is very messy but I will I will show you from the start actually and I will remove all these uh, things over here over here or I will open another another one if I can open let's see psychometric chart open with paint okay this is a fresh press psychometric chart today i'm going to explain you uh, what is the psychometric chart and what are the basic component on the uh, components on this psychometric chart as you can see is a triangular shape of graphs which consists of several lines curved lines straight lines uh, on x-axis as well as the y-axis let's start from the x-axis these temperatures or these values or the dry bulb temperature as you know the dry bulb temperature is nothing nothing mean nothing but is the normal temperature which we use to measure by using normal uh, temperature gauge and the y-axis constitutes something called a humidity ratio in bracket kg of water per kg of dry air it simple means if you take uh, amount of air amount of air it means for example if you take a, a one kg of air and if you want to see if you want to know how much amount of moisture is contained in the air as you know well aware of that air is not only air air will consist air as well as some amount of vapor or water vapor or moisture into the air right so you might seen that if you see a cola or any beverages a cold beverages and if you keep it on the table or uh, uh, the outside um, uh, so outside location you will see that 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 the container the can um, wall external wall covered with water or moisture that is what called condensation or that is what the water uh, can you imagine from where that water is came that water is came from the outside air it means that water came from outside air and that air contained that water that is called um, the moisture that is called the water air so simply if you see over here 0 0.01 you can relate to that condition 0 0.01 is humidity ratio which is kg of water kg of water if you take um, from kg of dry air um, you will find 0 0.01 of 0 0.01 of kg of water into kg of dry air 1 kg of dry air will consist 0 0.0.1 of kg of water so this y-axis doesn't mean that it also means that uh, amount of water contained in the dryer that is the conclusion and this these curve lines are uh, shown in percentage or relative humidity a relative humidity is the definition of relative humidity uh, which you can see over here it means that the percentage of uh, uh, moisture present in the air it is somewhat similar to humidity ratio but in a different way that means it shows the capacity of the air it means that if you take one kg of air it will have a capacity to hold the moisture it ho to hold the water contained at different temperature relative humidity uh, let's say for example here it is 100 percent if you see this line also called saturation line and this is 100 percent line and this 100 percent means relative humidity 100 percent mean this air further cannot accommodate the water further it cannot accommodate or it completely filled with water means 100 percent is 
water or moisture content. If relative humidity is 90% means that air consists of 90%, I mean 90% of area or the volume, volume is the moisture, remaining 10% air is the dry air. In the same way, 80, 70, if you see 50%, 50% means 50% if you take a certain amount of uh, air, 50% relative humidity of that air, it means that 50% of uh, area or volume is the, the moisture and remaining 50% the dry condition. This is what you call uh, relative humidity. And also you can see the green line, this is the white, uh, sorry, wet bulb temperature. Wet bulb temperature. And also most important parameter in the blue line is enthalpy. This enthalpy you can see over here, uh, mentioned 0, 20, 40 60 80 so this is the basic uh, uh, lines and components and parameter basically it's a properties of air if you take any kind of air or any condition of air from different places you can plot or you can check what is the property of the air uh, on this psychometric chart for example as i said let me wrap up it let me conclude it if i'm gonna take uh, air from the let's say any condition let's say from outside condition an example that air is let's say the condition to to know to use this chart is that we must know at least two properties of the air to see to further uh, make to make a further analysis for example i'm taking outside air which is let's say uh, 40 percent dry bulb db and uh, 25 degree centigrade as wb this is db sorry so let me plot this condition on this graph on this psychometric chart so 40 is this line vertical line and 25 red bulb is this line so intersection this point so that means what it means if you see over here if you draw a perpendicular line so 0 0.01 in between 0 0.01 to 0 0.02 it may be 0 0.014 what it means it means this condition of air this condition of air has 0 0.014 kg of water in kg of air if it is a 1 kg of air for example and also it is it is 30% relative humidity and means the relative humidity of this air is 30% which is very I mean the point is near to 30% what it means it means this air is 30% wet and 70% dry it means the capacity of the air is still 70% dry it can hold it can absorb more moisture or this air consists only 30% in the per terms of percentage only 30% is the moisture content and remaining 70 percent air is dry so in the same way what will be the dew point temperature for this condition okay what is the dew point dew point means if i'm gonna take this kind condition of the air and i want to achieve condensation process okay if i want to achieve the condensation process for this air you can plot a line over here perpendicular opposite direction till the saturation point and this temperature will call dew point temperature it means if i'm going to take 40 degrees into dry bulb and 25 degree wet bulb air and i want to remove the moisture contained from that air how i can re remove the moisture content from that air is by removing the by cooling this uh, air to the dew point till the dew point temperature which is 20 degrees centigrade then i can able to remove the moisture so further in the next video i will explain further more so to make conclusion this is the parameter of the psychometric chart i plot one point and i able to uh, get what are the uh, all other values so in the next video we will see further information if you have any doubt please make a comment so we can do whatever we can do and we can clear your doubts.